Good evening. This is Akashvani. I am Valsa Williams with the news at 9. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi lays foundation stone and inaugurates several development projects worth over 35,000 crore rupees in Chhattisgarh and Telangana. Prime Minister asserts dream of developed India will be fulfilled only when every state, district and village of the country is developed. Nobel Prize in Physics jointly awarded to Pierre Agostini, Ferenc Crouch and Anne Luye for work on extremely short pulses of light to study rapid movements of electrons. IMD predicts heavy rainfall in Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Sikkim and North Odisha during next 3 days. And in Hangzhou Asian Games in China, India's medal rush continues on day 10 with two gold, two silver and five bronze. Country's medal tally climbs to 69. Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone and dedicated to the nation multiple development projects worth more than 8000 crore rupees at Nizamabad in Telangana this evening the prime minister dedicated to the nation several rail projects including the new railway line connecting Manoharabad and Siddipet and the electrification project between Dharmabad Manoharabad and Mehboobnagar Karnool He also dedicated to the nation the first 800 megawatt unit of phase 1 of the Telangana Super Thermal Power Project of NTPC in Pedapalli district. 85% of electricity generated by the power plant will be utilized in the state itself and it will also improve north south grid connectivity. Addressing the gathering, the prime minister said the development of any nation or state depends upon its self-reliant capacity for electricity production. किसी भी देश और राज्य के विकास के लिए बहुत आवश्यक है वो राज्य बिजली उत्पादन के विषय में ज्यादा से ज्यादा आत्मनिर्भर हो जब राज्य में बिजली की प्रतिरूता रहती है तो ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस और ईज ऑफ लिविंग दोनों ही सुधर जाती है सुचारू बिजली सप्लाई राज्य के औद्योगिक विकास को भी गति देती है Mr Modi said the Telangana Super Thermal Power Plant is the most modern power plant out of all NTPC power plants in the country. Pedapalli jile mein NTPC ke super thermal power project ki pehli unit ka lokarpan hua hai. Jaldi iski second unit bhi shuru ho jayegi. Jab is project ka second phase pura hoga, the plant ki install capacity 4000 megawatt ho jayegi. NTPC ke desh mein jitne bhi power plants hain On the occasion, the Prime Minister also laid the foundation stone for 50-bed critical care blocks under the Pradhan Mantri Ayushman Bharat Health Infrastructure Mission in 20 district headquarters. The Prime Minister said, under the mission, quality infrastructure is being ensured in every district. हर जिले में अच्छा हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हो, इसके लिए हमने प्रधान मंत्री आयुष्मान भारत इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर मिशन की शुरुआत की है। आज इस मिशन के तहत तेलंगाना के 20 क्रिटिकल केयर ब्लॉक का शिलान्यास हुआ है इन ब्लॉक्स को ऐसे बनाया जाएगा जिसमें डेडिकेटेड आइसोलेशन वॉर्ड ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई इन्फेक्शन प्रिवेंशन एंड कंट्रोल की पूरी व्यवस्था हो तेलंगाना में स्वास्थ्य सुविधाएं बढ़ाने के लिए 5000 हजार से अधिक आयुष्मान भारत हेल्थ एंड वेलनेस सेंटर भी काम कर रहे हैं Earlier in the day Prime Minister Modi laid the foundation stone and dedicated to the nation development projects worth 27000 crore rupees in Jagdalpur the divisional headquarters of tribal Bastar division in Chhattisgarh speaking on the occasion the prime minister said the dream of a developed india will be fulfilled only when every state district and village is developed Viksit Bharat ka sapna tab siddh hoga jab har pradesh har jila हर गांव विकसित हो इस संकल्प को शक्ति देने के लिए आज यहां लगभग सत्ताईस हजार करोड़ रुपए की योजनाओं का शिलान्यास और लोकार्पण हुआ है Around 64,000 people have taken the pledge to donate their organs under the Ayushman Bhava campaign which was launched last month at the national level. The campaign was implemented during the Seva Pakwada from the 17th of September to the 2nd of October. 
Union Health Minister Dr. Mansukh Mandavia has also registered himself for organ donation. Talking to media in Delhi today, the minister said the Ayushman Bhav campaign remained very successful and it received an overwhelming response from the people. He informed that around 2,70,000 health mailers were organized, in which over 1 crore 61 lakh people visited and took benefits. Dr. Mandavia said under the campaign, around 64 lakh Ayushman cards were issued and over 1 crore Abha ID cards were generated. The Delhi police today arrested two journalists, Prabirpur Kayastha and Amit Chakravarti of a news portal, in connection with a case related to the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. The police conducted searches and questioned 46 people in the case. During the searches, the police seized digital devices and documents for examination. The police said further investigation into the case is in progress. Responding to the raids on a news portal and its journalists by the special cell of Delhi Police, Union Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Anurag Singh Thakur today said, the Central Investigation Agencies are free to act against anyone involved in illegal activities. Mr. Thakur was talking to media at BJP headquarters in Bhubaneswar. The minister said the BJP government, led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, is a pro-people and pro-poor government. Mr. Thakur was on a day-long visit to Odisha to attend several programs in Bhubaneswar and Katak. The BJP today demanded a CBI probe into the alleged swindling of central funds in West Bengal. Briefing media New Delhi party leader and leader of opposition in the state assembly, Shubhendu Adhikari, alleged that thousands of village heads belonging to the Trinamool Congress in connivance with state government officials have been involved in corruption to the tune of thousands of crores in the state in relation to work under the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Act, M.G. Narega. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar today held an all-party meeting in Patna on the report of the caste-based survey in the state. The meeting was held a day after the release of the data of the survey. Chairing the meeting, Mr. Kumar said, The caste-based survey is elaborative and comprehensive in nature. He said the main purpose of the survey is to uplift the poor and deprived sections of society. Mr. Kumar said it will provide good inputs for policy-making and formulation of social welfare schemes. The full election commission of India reached Telangana today to review the poll preparedness for assembly polls in the state. The team has begun assessing the preparedness for assembly elections. The ECI team, led by Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar, heard the issues raised by various political parties. The ECI met the delegations of BJP, BRS, Congress, AAP, CPIM, BSP and MIM, among others. Election Commissioners Anup Chandra Pandey and Arun Goy besides a team of senior officials of the ECI, attended the meeting. Delegations from six national parties and four regional parties met the ECI separately and submitted their representations. The ECI will meet district collectors and superintendents of police tomorrow. Haryana Chief Electoral Officer Anurag Agarwal has announced a unique initiative to encourage youth and women to participate in the electoral process by incentivizing them. Under this, individuals who got registered as new voters between the 1st of October and December the 9th will have the chance to win laptops, smartphones and pen drives in a draw conducted from the voter list to be published on the 5th of January 2024. In addition, voters registering during this period will also receive T-shirts as a token of appreciation. Chief Electoral Officer was addressing a press conference in Chandigarh today. This is Akashwani giving you the news. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. The 2023 Nobel Prize in Physics has been jointly awarded to scientists Pierre Agostini, Ferenc Krauss and Anne Louye for their work on creating extremely short pulses of light that can be harnessed to study processes occurring inside atoms and molecules. Announcing the names of the three scientists, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences in Stockholm said the trio are being recognized for their experimental methods that generate attosecond pulses of light 
light for the study of electron dynamics in matter. The Academy said they have given humanity new tools for exploring the world of electrons inside atoms and molecules. The laureates have created flashes of light that are short enough to take snapshots of electrons' extremely rapid movements. While Ferenc Krauss is a German physicist and Louie is from Sweden and Pierre Agostini is an American. Massive tremors were felt in the northern part of the country, including National Capital Delhi, today after two earthquakes with a magnitude of 4.6 and 6.2 hit Nepal. The Na- National Center for Seismology said the epicenter was at Nepal at a depth of 5 kilometers. The first earthquake hit at 2.25 this afternoon, followed by a second jolt at 2.51 p.m. There were no immediate reports of damage or casualty. In Bihar, the Central Selection Board of Constables, CSBC, has cancelled the written test for constable recruitment conducted on the 1st of October at different centres following complaints of question paper leak and incidents of cheating during the test. Chairperson of the board, S.K. Singhal, said in a prima facie probe, it appears that an organised gang sabotaged the examination process in an orchestrated manner. He said in view of the sanctity of the examination process, the board has also decided to postpone the upcoming written examinations to be held on the 7th and 15th of this month. The CSBC initiated the competitive examination for the recruitment of more than 21,000 constables in Bihar police. Indian Meteorological Department, IMD, has said that heavy to very heavy rainfall is expected to continue in Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal and Sikkim, North Odisha during the next three days. It said northeastern part of the country also expected to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall. During the next four days, IMD said Churk in Sonbhadra district received the highest 16 centimetres of rainfall. Heavy rains continue in northern part of Kerala. We have a report. Orange alert is issued in Tiruvannathuram district and yellow alert in Kollam, Patrandita and Alapura districts. Water logging is severe in the low-lying areas and widespread damage is being reported in Tiruvannathuram. Fishing ban is imposed in the Kerala Lakshadweep coast. The State Disaster Management Authority has issued warning to fishermen and coastal residents. On account of heavy rain, holiday has been declared for all educational institutions in Tiruvannathuram and the PSC exams to be held tomorrow and day after in Tiruvannathuram district has been postponed. Mayusha for Agashwani News, Tiruvannathuram. India's medal rush continued in athletics at the ongoing Hachou Asian Games in China. On day 10, India clinched two gold, two silver and five bronze medals, taking the country's overall tally to 69. It comprises 15 gold, 26 silver and 28 bronze. The country currently holds the fourth position in the overall medal standings. We have a report. In athletics, medals continue to pour in today with Anu Rani clinching the gold in women's javelin throw while Parul Chaudhary bagged the yellow medal in the women's 5000 meter event. Rani gave the best throw of 62.92 meters while Chaudhary obtained her second medal at the ongoing Asian Games, following her silver at the women's 3000 meter steeplechase on Monday. Tejaswin Shankar won silver in men's decathlon event. In the men's 800-meter race, Mohammad Afsal won the silver medal. Praveen Chitravel won bronze in the men's triple jump event. Earlier, Vidya Ramraj won bronze in the women's 400 meters hurdles. In boxing, Preeti Pawar and Narendra Barwal settled for a bronze medal each. In canoeing, the duo of Arjun Singh and Sunil Singh Salam won a momentous bronze in the men's 1000 meter event. This is the second canoe medal of the country in Asian Games history after 1994. Prime Minister Narendra Modi congratulated the Indian players for their outstanding performance at the Asian Games with Sara Suleiman Qureshi, R.S. Raghu from Sports Desk. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi lays foundation stone and inaugurates several development projects worth over 35,000 crore rupees in Chhattisgarh and Telangana. Prime Minister asserts dream of developed India will be fulfilled only when every state, district and village of the country is developed. Nobel Prize in Physics jointly awarded to Pierre Agostini, Ferenc Krauss and Anne Louis for work on extremely short pulses of light to study rapid movements of electrons. 
आई एम डी प्रोडिक्स हैवी रेनफॉल इन बिहार झारखंड वेस्ट बंगाल सिक्किम नॉर्थ ओडिशा ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट थ्री डेज एंड इन हांग एशियन गेम्स इन चाइना इंडियाज मेडल रश कंटिन्यूज ऑन डे टेन विथ टू गोल्ड टू सिल्वर फाइव ब्रॉन्स कंट्रीज मेडल टैली क्लाइम टू सिक्सटी नाइन दैट इज ऑल इन द न्यूज एट नाइन गुड नाइट This is Akashvani in the program Spotlight